Except did for, you think the Mets? Yeah. Now you were really busy doing the Mets postseason. Yeah, the I was World on Series. the Mets run through uh, through October. Yeah. Were you surprised how badly they got beat? Did they get beat badly, or did they? I mean, they beat themselves. Yeah, they didn't play well. They didn't deserve to win the series. Obviously. I mean, uh, the guy, uh, what's his name, uh, David. Uh, Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy. Boy, was he butchering ground balls and in, in, in second base like two nights in a row. And yeah, but anyone who saw the Mets all year what knew was it, that. was it, games four and five? Yeah. I mean, if you watch the Mets all year, you knew Daniel Murphy wasn't what we saw in the first two rounds of the playoffs. Power hitter, perfect defense, and good base. What, he had six home runs in six games straight? Six straight, seven home runs in the first two rounds. But you don't think they'll keep him? I think he's gone, no. I think that from Where do the you last think he'll time, end up? I don't know where. I think he's going to get, though, about $15 million a year, probably three- to four-year contract. Do you think he's worth that? At the end of the what day... Which one are you getting? Which he folded getting? like a cheap tent. I read today the Mets are looking into Zobris. They're, they're trying to go after Zobris, who killed them in the World Series. Wasn't even the Yankees interested in him? It's like 10 teams interested in Zobris. He plays four positions. He hits the heck out of the ball. So what do you think of the uh, Monday Night Football game here? Nine to six, what a thriller! Really I knew this game was going to suck. The minute I saw Tennessee and Jacksonville, I went, "Oh God!" Although I like uh, Blake Bortles and and Mariota. How can you not like those two quarterbacks? They're, I mean, I think they're good. But when you how about watching a game that is nine six and you got these two great quarterbacks doing nothing? Two worst teams in the worst division in football, and this is what you get: nine six. Can you believe that they even scheduled this? We've seen this before. I feel like we've seen a game like this before on a Thursday night. I don't know if it was like the Browns and Titans or something like that. You get some gross... Well, it's bad enough to but play on Thursday night. It's, it's ugly enough. But whose idea at the league office or whatever thought, you know what we'll do? We'll put together uh, the Titans and Jaguars and we'll make it a primetime game on a Thursday night so everyone can, I don't know, put a gun in their mouth? I, honestly, is this not the worst, like, looking on paper game ever? It's gross, but you know what? People are going to watch, right? Watch I'll watch uh, football no matter what. I'm watching East Carolina and Central Florida, for God's sakes, and that's as bad as it gets. Like, there was some really bad college football games tonight. Well, they were the only one, weren't they? No, there, was th there, was there were three ones? others, and they're horrible. An Ivy League game and then two other games. The other two games were so bad that they wouldn't even put a spread or money right. line up on them. Louisiana Monroe and Texas State. Right. That, that should tonight. be canceled. Are those colleges or are those just places to put your money? <laughs> those are D1. That's almost one and nine against two and seven. That's oh, like tonight's NFL game. My God, it's just so awful. What was the spread in the Jags game? It was three. The, the Jags, Jags were laying, laying three. three. And right now it's a push. And who was your pick? I took Jacksonville and I went, oh my God, I'll probably lose this bet. I still, I mean, you got to be kidding me. You can't finish these guys off. Did you see him last week get that game handed to him uh, by the <laughs> refs in Baltimore? Yeah. The uh, league admitted that they messed but up. But they're a tough team. I had them in five and a half. Last week I hit nine of 13 NFL spreads. So I'm, I'm hot fire. hitting spreads. Fire. On fire right now. But, I mean, I, I hit the Jags. They're, you know, they show up for games. They're in games. I think they're getting better, and I think they're getting better because of Bortles. Yeah, well, I mean, he's growing. Is it year two for him? I mean, it's be expected, right? He's taking that next step. So last night on the show, the topic of conversation for the last two hours, and even the uh, Ask the Pros question of the night was some guy in Hingham, Mass, asked me. I think the guy's name was Bryce, believe it or not. Like Bryce Harper. He asked me, who, was that right, Schneid? So the guy asked me, who can beat the Patriots? Who Who's going to be the team? So then... I had everyone in here arguing with me, including Schwartz. Everyone was arguing with me uh, because, you know, they're all Jets fans and whatever. Mavi is a Jets fan. Schwartz is a Jets fan. But Schwartz says he's given up on his team like he gives up on all his teams. Uh, are you a Giants guy? I'm a Jets fan. Oh, you are a Jets fan, too. Yep. Jesus. God. There's only one team in the AFC. You don't think they can do it. They're no, not there's the team. one team in the AFC, I think. Do you think they I can think. beat them at MetLife this year when they play them? It'll be close. It's always close between those two. Do I think they'll win? No, I don't think they'll win. There's only one team, I think, that can beat the Who Patriots is that in the team? playoffs. I think the Steelers. Me play. too. The oh, my team. God. We're the only two people on the face of North America that said it. I can't. The great Ryan Asselta. 
I said that all night to uh, Ben Roethlisberger is the guy that can beat him. It's the only guy who can beat him. Or have a shot at it. With Antonio Brown. And D'Angelo Williams looks good filling in for Le'Veon Bell. I like that. I think that team can beat But they have to beat somebody to get to that game. Right. They're going to have to win a wild card game and a semi to play them in the title game at Gillette. And I don't know if they can do that. I don't know if they can do that. That's the thing. It's, I think they could beat them, but I don't think they can get to that game. It's time for the latest sports update. A guy that started for the Steelers in the 70s and actually won four rings. And I think Marcus Mariota just gave the Titans the lead in the third quarter. Let's find out everything that's happening there and in the NBA, NHL, college hoops. Here he is, four rings and a spot in Canton. Ryan Asselta.